Hey up guys, welcome to our first Grizzly Trailers walk around video. What we're gonna do is every time we complete a trailer, I'm gonna do a TikTok walk around video so it's easier for everybody to see it. Obviously you see all my fancy TikTok videos of all the edits and the finished product with all the music and all that kind of stuff, but I'm gonna tone it down a bit and do something a little bit different. So first up, we have a 20 foot tandem axle, full commercial, so it's a short little strong trailer. And that one is going down to Liscard in Cornwall. And the customer's actually bringing up his old trailer. And we're gonna take the cattle box off, blast and paint it and fit that box to his new trailer. So let's go check it out. Are you coming, Rusty? Come on then. Whew, here she is. We've actually had to fit this one out in the spray booth because the assembly room has full with something else. So guys, here she is, full commercial, 20 foot, tandem axle bale trailer fitted with 445 mini super singles, as low as we could possibly get it. We've even lowered our main cross members to 60 by 40s rather than 80 by 40s. Uh, this one will have a softwood timber floor What's going on here. We have some decent spacings to allow any extrament to fall down through. This trailer was fitted with a solid fixed welded drawer bar. We've got our standard bolt on swivel hitch and adjustable front skid. Uh, four bolts missing there because we may have to change this one and put a longer hitch on there for reasons I don't need to bore you with. Also, we have our main swan neck that carries all the pipes and hydraulics down through the trailer. Air only braking, front and back, back, back there. Junction boxes. Standard front neon marker lights, tie down fittings for if they ever go on a truck. All your air fittings, main air tank over here, over here, there. <laughs> yeah, air tank is fitted behind the main cross member, which the drawbar is fixed to. That also has some tie down points involved. Uh, so truck drivers can chain from there and pull down to their trailer. Ooh. Manual handbrake in here. Fitted to the front axle, which has a galvanized brake bar down in there. Indicating marker lights, we like them. We got the double coin 445 mini super singles. Uh, this brings the ride height of the trailer down to under a meter. It's about 960. The running gear, she has 127 round beam full commercial axles. And they are fitted with 32 ton tandem axle suspension. It's a triple leaf parabolic York ultra underslung suspension supplied to us from Distag. Obviously you're not gonna get 32 ton on there, but this thing is gonna last forever. This was a custom little jobby. We had to put a little bracket on here uh, and feed a quarter inch pipe right up to the front. So the customer can fit, I think it must be the decks on his cow box. Um, or the rear door, I'm not sure, but he asked if we could do that. Are you okay, Rusty? Yeah. I've seen Rusty before, she's a very loving little dog, and we've even got some LED lights now, look at this. Oh, yes, look at that. Right, back to it. We have galvanized light guards and the dynamic LED clusters in there. The cutouts in there actually match up with the light which is pretty cool. And that has like a red, red neon surround, which looks really nice at night. Hmm. Uh, there's a little piece missing up here. Here, here, God, I can't get used to this. Here, without looking. There's meant to be a shunt valve there. It's welded on, was it? No, so it's had to go here, which isn't the end of the world, but I quite like it when you're stood up at hand level to be able to push it. What about these? rear mud flaps, stainless steel straps, and the red chevron tape. Oh, nice. And we put them on the front for this customer as well. Woo! There's no cheap components on here. Even to the point the light socket has its own rubber seal. None of these two pound cheap metal things that just corrode and disappear after a year. How good does the shine look on our new paint? It looks awesome, I love it. Two pack epoxy primer on here, and then finished with the high gloss onto a shop blasted surface. We do our all our own shop blasting and all our own painting in-house. High UV, high sag resistant industrial paint. <laughs> Did I get that right? I don't know. And 
the high build, so there is a lot of paint on here. It's thick. So that's it for this one, guys. If you want to know any more information, just give me a message, give me a call, give me an email. Find all the information you need online, on the socials. You'll find it somewhere. Um, don't forget to follow, share, like, do all of that stuff. If we can hit 10,000 followers by February time, I'll give away one of these grizzly hoodies. Rock on, guys. See you on the next one.